Hey! Oh no! So Russ dropped an album called Zoo recently, and I decided to take a dive into it because I have never listened to a Russ project consciously of my own accord. I may have heard him here or there in features, but I've never known the guy beyond what people and critics have said, and usually those things are not very nice. When diving into an artist that I kind of only hear negative things about or I've never heard of or I've never listened to, I usually like to look at the concept behind what might have helped them or or assisted them in making this album what particular emotions were they trying to convey what things were they trying to show or illustrate through their music naturally I look at the word zoo I look at the picture it's showing these animals behind these bars and it would seem that at least to me in my assumption Russ is trying to talk about how he may feel trapped in this world of entertainment the industry you know bogging him down everything kind of working against him and people only seeing him as something to prod and look at and be entertained by similar to how animals in a zoo are usually only there to be watched and while they do live in captivity and they're safe from predators it's still not really a free life in the same way that an entertainer never really has a truly free life most entertainers are usually chained to some type of structure be it the fans want this kind of sound but the but the person wants to experiment and sometimes it's difficult for that person to be able to experiment just because they have to still make money which means entertaining the fans which means that sometimes you have to compromise your creativity and your enjoyment for basic human survival which is not fun on the other hand this could be talking about how our most animalistic instincts may be trapped behind the bars of our logic and the bars of pressure from other people trying not to make a fool of ourselves or they come out when we are in a dangerous situation or we're pushed to our limit so yeah as far as all that concept stuff i was talking about he doesn't really do any of that in fact he doesn't do anything close to that all of these songs lyrically sonically do nothing to stand out and sound almost formulaic at best they sound completely average and they don't feel like anything a underrated MC would be spitting it doesn't sound like anything an underrated producer would be crafting he doesn't do anything to make this album feel like an experience in the zoo you think with zoo you would be able to at least throw some animal noises in there <laughs> but no no he doesn't do any of the things that would make this interesting at the very least i mean the most egregious things that happened on this album we could put on a list and you can put them in any order you want the first thing that struck me was on kill them all when he talked about how he's gonna kill all the bad rappers all these lamos trying to get in this game thinking that they're gonna be chasing clout and trying to stop us good rappers from bringing out the real heat well they got another thing coming i'm about to pull out some michael myers on them i'm gonna halloween them to death like i'm gonna like lyrically i'm gonna murder them so bad he he doesn't do that at all he just kind of mentions certain stereotypes of rappers trying really hard to be famous two plus two also equals four I know lyrically I said like there's nothing on here that's compelling or striking at all and then I heard this verse I've been thirsty since before your water broke real animalistic there Russ you uh just made the weirdest lyric I've ever heard in my life as far as uh 2018 goes that's definitely up there with uh just what there's also a song in which he high fives himself verbally for making a crazy beat that's completely lifeless and does nothing to be entertaining or an experience or out there or wild in any form or fashion it's actually probably a beat that would make grandma just chill with her pearls she wouldn't clutch them she'd just be like oh yeah i got pearls on if you want to do a comparison of something that's more interesting and you want to look at a producer or slash rapper that actually makes crazy beats, you could look at, oh, say, Tyler the Creator, 
um i don't know frank ocean earl sweatshirt for f like they make crazy beats I mean, sonically, as far as this thing goes, when he tries to talk about these sad moments in his life and how upsetting they are, I don't feel anything, but not pity, but just like, oh, that sucks. I am really sorry that you have to deal with that. And for another comparison, Kendrick Lamar's You from To Pimp a Butterfly, which is a supremely better album, obviously, but I'm just using it for comparison to really drive home the point. Kendrick Lamar's you, he uses the sounds of him drinking. The saxophone is ominous in the the entire song itself is ominous and you can feel like Kendrick is falling further and further down this rabbit hole. There's more emotion in his voice as he goes on. He starts already broken, but he sounds like pieces of shattered glass by the end. You can feel the poignancy at the very end, the revelation that comes to him when he says the last lines of like how he's the problem and russ is just like i make more money than my dad and that upsets my dad and that's causing problems within their marriage here's the thing you can say yes two artists talked about sadness in a different way that's perfectly fine yes two artists had problems and issues which legitimately upset them and plague them in a way that many people can potentially relate to except for maybe the getting rich part but you know upsetting your parents or feeling depressed feeling upset with yourself feeling a lack of self-love and self-care these are definite themes within our entire generation yes but does that mean that then you can't craft it in a way that's interesting or makes it feel like i am living the the music version of that wait 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 wait, wait. there were there were features on here um there's so many there's like so many there was like rick ross and there, there was snoop dogg and then one more manalia 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 an idiot it's mahalia and somehow my brain was just so scrambled by trying to describe this boring album that i unfortunately made that error apologies it is mahalia not manilia because i don't know what i was freaking thinking i don't i don't know her they were they were on this this album and if anything i was happy to hear another voice that wasn't russ's because at that point i was starting to lose my sanity so i was very happy to a not fall asleep and b b able to hear someone else and that's pretty much all the features did they weren't really supplemental they didn't bring any life into the tracks they just kind of just fit right in and while that's nice it didn't really do anything to propel this album at all similar to how russ didn't do anything to make this album propel itself stand out at all but i digress as i would like to just stop talking about this album it's bland it tastes like flour and i would not recommend it however i would say this most likely those who are already fans of russ will enjoy this if this is what russ has produced prior this is my first foray into russ and i would like to ne never again just just not it's not for me. I can also say that it's not really anything that's particularly different. I do not want to listen to any more of it. Well, this guy says, we should all embrace our instincts sometimes as they can lead to really positive results. And sometimes they may be not so great results. 